everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me once again for tea time. Today, we have some misty morning. So, so good. That clean, fresh, bright note, really to start the day. I love this stuff. So, today, we're gonna be talking about copyright and baking in copyright into your images upon capture and how important it is. But guys, before I get into that, I wanna say that if you haven't went over to my website, jchristina.com, please do so. Go check it out. I've invented a lot of products over the years, and I'm sure there's something over there that you might be able to use. One of them that you were asking me for ever since the beginning of this whole corona thing is this one, the microfiber cleaning cloths. I told you a couple of videos ago, I got a thousand in. We're down to, I think about three, 400 right now. Check them out. Basically what they are is, it looks like this when you get it. You get wet and dry cleaning cloths, all right? There's multiple inside there. You use wet first and then you use dry. Bottom line is they clean about 99% of all bacteria, 93% of all viruses, and they do have antifungal in there also. They look similar to this. And as you can see, there's no like frayed edges or little notched edges, the cheaper stuff. This is two ply high quality microfiber specifically for this. You can use it on your lenses, but you can also use it on all of your handheld devices, your iPhone, your iPad, your monitors, your whatever, okay? You can use it inside your car. Anything that gets all grubby and disgusting and has a ton of germs, you can use these. Anyways, like I said, what I'm doing is for all you guys that are subscribed, I'm giving you all 50% off. That, yeah, 50. Um, normally, I give you 20% off using coupon code YT20. I'm giving you YT50 on these. Only these, not everything else. YT50, you'll get 50% off these. So hopefully that helps out some. So let's get right into it. Today, we're going to use a 7D, but any modern camera will allow you to do this these days. Some of the older ones, like an old 5D, 5D Mark II, they won't. And in those cases, you're going to have to use the software that they provide and then tether your camera to the computer to get this accomplished. But like I said, in most modern cameras, you can do this right from the back panel. All right, and that's what we're going to do today because it's very important. Now, before I get into it, I'm gonna give you a demo on how you do it. But before I do, I wanna tell you why we do it. Now, over the years, there's been just more and more and more copyright infringement. A lot of it just gets unlitigated and people just forget about it. And they say, ah, whatever, it is the way it is. We know that once we put our images on the internet, they're basically, it's a free for all, okay? People use them haphazardly, don't really care whose image it is and do not give any type of notification of where it came from or even just a simple thank you. This is where it comes from. If you wanna take a look at the rest of their stuff, go look over there. In most cases, photographers just want the recognition. They want people to understand and know that that image was created by them. It's very important to us, all right? Now, like I said, with Google and everything else, this is not necessarily the case. When we put out our images, a lot of times they get used without our permission. And if we do not have a watermark on our image, how does anyone know who took the image? Now to add to that, most of the websites that we send our images to are stripping the majority of our XF data out of the image. What does that mean? Well, basically all of the information that you bake in to those photos, be it a photo editor or internal to the camera, gets removed. They tell you that they sanitize these images to protect people. They'll tell you that they do it to save space or to save whatever. And it's a bunch of nonsense, in my personal opinion. I don't think any company should do that. But just so you know, that's what happens. You send your image onto Instagram, you send your image over to Facebook, you send your image, whatever. Those images get crushed, made tighter, smaller, and at the same time, they get sanitized. The one thing that 99% of the time does not get removed by any of these companies is your copyright information. 
So you have a ton of XF data that's in every single image. And that one line, copyright line, almost always stays, no matter what. So it is very important to put that in there. Some people like to put this information onto their image after the fact, in post-production, through on one software or Capture One or Exposure X or Lightroom or whatever. In my personal opinion, that's okay, but it's just not good enough. And the reason it's not good enough is I personally think that when you take the picture, if you can bake in your copyright information immediately, it is better for two reasons. Number one, if your camera ever gets stolen, it's proof that that's yours because you baked in information like your name, maybe your website, maybe your phone number or your address. That will be in every single image as soon as you pull that trigger. So if it's stolen, you'll be able to find it. Maybe your card gets lost. That information will be on every single image also. Or like I said, your camera gets lost or stolen. It's in there. It proves ownership. Like I said, upon capture immediately. I personally think that is so, so mission critical, important. And if your camera does it, which nine out of 10 times it will, all modern cameras allow you to do that just simply do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick demo on how to do it using this camera, but bear in mind, it's going to be the same for all of your cameras. Basically go into your menu system and find copyright information, and that's where you're gonna be making the changes. Okay, if you can't figure out how to do that, just simply pick up your owner's manual and it will tell you exactly where to go. Very, very simple, it's in your menu system. So guys, let's get right into it. This is a Canon 7D, but it doesn't really matter. All modern cameras will allow you to do this. So we go into the menu system and let's head over to copyright. Now on the Canon, you come all the way over here and we can see battery information's at the top. And if you just scroll down here, you'll see copyright information. Click on your set button and you'll be able to see display copyright information, enter author's name, enter copyright details, and finally delete copyright information. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have right now. We're gonna hit our set button. So for author, it says Joseph Christina. Under copyright, it says contact author at jchristina.com. Now you have a limited amount of space, a limited number of characters. So this is what we have right now. This is pretty good, not bad. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this, hit the menu button, come down here to delete copyright information, and we'll do it again so you can see how it is done. So we're gonna delete copyright information, hit okay. And that's it. Now, as you can see, this is grayed out up here where it says display copyright information because there isn't any. So now let's go to author's name and fill this out. Now in the Canon, you use a few of the different buttons. You have this button here, you have your trash button, your info button, and your menu button. So we're in this area as it is now. If we wanna move down to this area, we hit this button over here and it'll move us down into our characters. And if we hit this button, it brings us back. So let's go down to our characters and we're gonna start selecting our characters. There we go, and hit set. Now that brings that capital J up there. If we wanna move around this window a little bit easier, we can use our joystick. So we're gonna move over to an O, hit set, then an S. And now we need to put a space in. We use the very first character over here to put a space in. So let's go ahead and roll over to here, hit set. I like the wheel a little bit better because the joystick, if you push on it, you'll end up activating it. And you might end up with strange characters that you didn't really think that you put in there. So let's go ahead and put our C in. I'm gonna try doing it and see if I make a mistake here. R, A. All right, now we wanna save this and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and hit our menu button to save. So we're gonna hit okay. And now we have display copyright. Let's go ahead and click that. And as you can see, author is Joseph Christina. Now under copyright, we want to change this. So let's go ahead back to menu and come down to copyright details and hit select. Now here, you wanna set it for something that makes sense for you. So for me, I'm just gonna put my website address in here. Now I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to watch me do it, this will take a minute.
So there you go, jchristina.com. So what I'm gonna hit is now the menu button, and now go back up to display copyright information and click the button. As you can see here now, we have author Joseph Christina, copyright jchristina.com. You can change this to whatever you want. Maybe your phone number, maybe your address, whatever that is. But remember, you have a limited amount of space that you can use. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. Doesn't take a lot to do, but I promise you, if you ever have a card stolen, your camera stolen, or someone goes and uses your image without your consent, you will thank me a hundred times that I just told you to go do it. <laughs> We're sitting here quarantined or on house arrest because of the corona or COVID-19 virus, okay? This is a perfect time to be able to do things like this, that once we get back out there doing our jobs, all of the little things that we've gotten done will help us later. And I think I'm gonna start doing a bunch of videos on that. What we can do right now in our studios, in our homes, to make our life less miserable later once we're out there, once again, capturing photos. What you can do now that will help you later. So once again, go into your menu system, set this up. Like I said, you're gonna thank me later. I do think it is very important. Very easy to set that copyright information in your camera. And then every time you take that snap, it automatically bakes in the information onto that image. There's been so many cases, like I told you before, where images have been stolen and used and no one knows who is the author of it. And the reason that is, is because they've been sanitized by all the different companies out there that we upload our images to. The one thing, like I said, that doesn't get sanitized almost never 99% of the time is that copyright line. Very, very important, guys. Copyright. So if you've gotten some value from this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That would be stellar. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon over here. So when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. That would be awesome. Another thing that a lot of you guys have been asking about is cleaning your camera sensor. A lot of mirrorless cameras, they get dirty really quickly, even quicker than DSLRs, because a DSLR has something that kind of flips in front of the sensor when you're pulling your lens off. A mirrorless camera does not. You pull your lens off, and now you can immediately have access to that sensor and it acts almost like a magnet and sucks in any dust that's in the area. So I have the Aurora Camera Care products that I invented. Go check these out. Basically camera sensor, this pack is camera sensor and lens cleaning. So you're gonna get the cleaning cloth as well as things that look like this, all right? Those are, this right here is full frame. This is a full frame sensor cleaner. Okay, you will get a pack of both wet and dry. So you don't have to play around with liquid and try to figure out how much liquid is safe. It's pre-moistened. You're gonna go over it twice, throw this out, get a dry one, go over it, and you're done. Your sensor will be spotless, no more little spots and things that you have to take out in post-production. It's annoying, I know. So another thing that you guys can do during this COVID thing, go and clean that sensor. Maybe I'll do a video on that. I think it is really, really important. And in post-production, you don't have to waste so much time taking out the spots that you don't want in the sky or wherever they are. So anyways, go and download my ebook over at jchristina.com if you haven't done so already. If you're a subscriber, it is free. Go to jchristina.com forward slash ebook. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash ebook. 10 tips making sharper images. Awesome for amateur or professional. There's something in there for everyone. Also. Come join me over at the Discord server at community.jchristina.com. I created a creative Discord server for us. Go over there, check it out. There's hundreds of you, brilliant people. You can ask anything. Someone's going to be very knowledgeable and be able to give you answers. Once again, community.jchristina.com.
Bitcoin.com. So guys, I am out of here. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy.